Cage Steel 21 at the Doncaster Dome in Doncaster for the main event of the evening. In the blue corner, we've got Sean the Legend Lomas taking on Madas Fleminas in the red corner. I'm Harry Strutt, commentating beside me. We've got Wayne McKenna. Hello, Wayne. Good evening, Harry. Really looking forward to this one. Seeing the Latvian Express in action again, taking on the local legend, Sean Lomas. Yeah, it says Sean Lomas in the black shorts. Madas Fleminas in the uh, burgundy shorts. Yeah, Madas, he likes to dispatch of his opponents in the first opening seconds by rushing them with an awesome blaze of fire. Sean Lomas is an absolute, he's a unit of a man. He can take so much punishment. That's it, sidekick. Um, so really, it's whether he can weather the storm of Fleminas um, early on. Big, big overhand I from Lomas. I think there. that's a trip. Big shout out to all those Latvian fans watching on pay-per-view. Yeah, great facility that Cage Steel's putting to play this time. The pay-per-view, so it means that all the fighters from around the globe can watch this entertainment. This is pro MMA, so it's three five-minute rounds. Our referee tonight, UFC man himself, Neil Hall. Good luck in landing by Sean Lomas. This fight's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Yeah, it looks like they're still feeling each other out at the minute. If you see there, Lomas is, sorry, Fleminas is hitting on the button here. Yeah, it nicely mixed it up with some knees to the body. He started defending him, so he dropped the elbow in. Massive, massive pressure coming in from Fleminas. And Lomas is taking it. Would you say it's almost like a Latvian, <laughs> a Latvian freight train? Well, we saw some of the stand-up straight punching there, straight on the chin of Lomas, and he took them all. Yeah, he's not just strong and stubborn on his feet, he's really strong and uh, powerful on the ground as well. There's been lots of fighters that's not been able to conquer the Lomas. He's a legend for a reason. Yeah, that's it. Lomas locking up the legs of Fleminas. Yeah, Fleminas with these little short shots. Using his shoulder. In the half guard of Sean Lomas, pressing him up against the fence. Elbows coming in from Fleminas. Yeah, Fleminas putting the arm behind the head. It looks as like if he's going for the guillotine attempt, but it's an arm in. I don't think he'll get it well, he's uh, in half. He's managed to use it, and Sean Lomas has actually uses it to, uh, to pass into side control. That arm's in pretty tight now. Fleminas could get this in the submission. No, I think he's uh, been side on. Sean Lomas has used it to uh, increase his position. Yeah, Lomas so, could have side control. Yeah, and he, it looks like he's got the arm. He needs to be careful that he doesn't come over him on floor. If you look, he's trying to fight that wrist, but he's in side control. Sean Lomas is trying to fight the wrist from the bottom because he's only got one uh, hand around his head now. If he can isolate that from the body, there we are. Lomas now in a dominant position against Fleminas. Yeah, this is uh, an old scarf hold. There's a couple of arm locks from here. They can do a straight arm bar. 
Wow. L I'm saying, a low mass is old school. He just needs to straighten that up, put it under the uh, under the knee of his other arm. And he's got potential to just, well, he works like a straight arm bar, so he just snaps the elbow. Neil Hall, our UFC referee in the cage, keeping an eye on the action. He just needs to pick away. We've still got time in the first round. Yeah, five minute rounds. These are pro rounds. Fleming is going to have to really work to get out of this one. You need to be careful. Fleming is he's trying to shrimp to get out, but he's still in pretty deep. That's it. That's it, he's straightening the arm out. Could Lomas increase his uh, increase That's it, Fleming has is clever now. He can actually throw the leg over and try and take his back. That's it, if he shrimps to that side. But he just needs to be very careful that he doesn't leave the arm behind. There we go, it looks as if he might actually have it on. He's pulling against it. It looks as if this is uh, unknown territory of uh, Fleminas. Fleminas regains control. Yeah, that was a uh, close call. I think that's gonna be a bit of a wake up call for him. This ain't gonna be no walkover. Definitely, hammer fist coming down from Fleminas. And again, and again. Yeah, Lomas is uh, starting to move. He's now in the half guard of Sean Lomas. Nasty cutting elbows coming down from Fleminas. Yeah, and he's taking him, but I don't know how long he's going to be able to take him for. I'm a fist. Lomas is still defending. Yeah, there we go. And he's wow. made it out of round one. Awesome matchup. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So this is Cage Steel 21 at the Doncaster Dome, sponsored by JRUK. And brought to you by our promoters Dominic Gibbs and the matchmaker Danny Mitchell. So we've got Bateman MMA <laughs> in the corner of Fleming Ass, giving him some advice. He's in uh, uncharted territory, taking on a veteran, someone who can take anything you throw at him, low mass. Also, Went for the submission there. Yeah, yeah, he went for a very complex submission that you don't see often either. He was very controlling how he managed to keep Fleminess on the ground and then started working the position. Um, see, he is literally like a piece of iron. Yeah, he yeah. was getting hammered he with square everything. on, straight powerful punches from Fleminess. He took them. It's just general well, facial expression. Lomas, he, like I say, he's got over 100 fights. He's not bothered, he's done this before. You ain't going to give him anything that he hasn't seen previous. This is a great fight for Fleminas. Oh yeah, it's a great test. Here we are for round number two. Oh, that's a uh, teak to the face. Nice leg kick from Lomas. Uh, if I were Lomas, I'd be working straight back to the ground again. Fleminas lands in a dominant position. Yeah, I think he's in half guard. Lomas has tied the other leg up. But he's, he's taking some fist. big shots. He took the little elbow and then he hammer fist off. The referee will be checking to see if Lomas defends these. It'll only take one or two to go unchecked. Okay, working on the inside, trying to trap the elbow. Pushed his opponent away. Pushed him away and back to his feet. Nice up kicks. There we go, Fleminas taking the centre of the octagon. Nice pressure coming back from Fleminas. Yeah, good forward movement. Jumps in with the left hook and then the low kick. Big low kicks by Lomas. Kick to the body from Fleminas. Yeah, he kicked him to the body. That's actually the only time that I've, um, I've seen Lomas beaten is when Kevin Mullen actually hit him with a liver shot. A liver kick to the body and put him down. And it looks as if that's where Fleminas is heading as well. That might be the chink in Achilles' armor. The liver of Lomas. And he's taken down, but he's still kicking, still defending his uh, yeah. Sean Lomas. He's caught the leg, and I think he's caught the leg, put him down, straight back up. A 
Oh, foot stomp from Lomas, and again. Old school. You see, your metatarsals and those small bones in your foot are quite easy to break. And then it obviously makes you think, well, somebody's stamping on your foot, that's an unusual action. It makes you think about something else, so it means Lomas can put his hands together and take you down. Double leg takedown from Lomas. This is uncharted territory for Fleminas. He's a powerful guy, as said, and we've seen for his technique, he's really stubborn and smothering. Yeah, looking to take the back of Fleminas. Yeah, he's working well so far. He is. Massively. He could lose it here. Yeah, Fleminas reverses it. it. He slid over. He took a few elbows when he hit the ground. So he needs to be active off his back and keep moving. Fleminas has got some more energy now and he's raining down some shots. Neil Hall looking on as these blows are landed on his head. They're still being defended. Wow, what a storm to weather. We've not seen a fighter take this much damage off Fleminas. As you said, Fleminas, especially in his amateur career, he got the name the Latvian Express just because he was steamrolling everybody, just constantly storming forward. Um, but now he's met an opponent that you can't storm forward because there's a wall. He takes everything. So it's an excellent test. It's an excellent test for Fleminas. This is exactly what he needs yeah. in his pro debut. Well, sorry, in his pro, pro career. He's mixing yeah. up well now with the elbows. Yeah, body head. Great work from Fleminas and Lomas. Lomas with the heel kicks to the kidneys. Lomas still working and striking from the bottom. I think he needs to work to better his position rather than to uh, try and strike from the bottom. Both fighters chipping away at Lomas with the, the heel kicks. Yeah, it used to be the um, old Ois Gracie uh, style where he used to use the heels to either smack the kidneys or the thighs so then when you stand up you can't walk or obviously you get smacked the kidney. Both fighters still very active. Yeah, Lomas has taken some big hammer fists. Final ten seconds of round number two. Wow, this could go into another five minute round. Wowzer! Woohoo! There we are, that's round number two out. Unbelievable! Another awesome round. Unbelievable. A real, real test here for Fleminas. Yeah, sure, and Lomas is starting to look more tired now. Uh, right, so to be fair, he took a lot of punishment. And yeah. He's still in there, he's still in the mix, he's still wanting to continue. What can you do when you're fighting someone, throwing everything at him, it's not effective. Wow. This fight is our main event here at Cage Steel 21, coming live from the Dome in Doncaster. Thanks for your support, guys, if you're watching on our pay-per-view channel. This fight is brought to you by JR UK and our promoters, Dominic Gibbs and a matchmaker, Danny Mitchell. We're back here on the 1st of December for Cage Steel 22. We're gonna move into the third and final five minute round. I say it's been a long 10 minutes for these guys so far, but they're putting everything on the line now. Lomas comes in with a low roundhouse kick. That being express to the head and a push kick before his foot touched the floor. Nice combination. Lomas just got kicked in the head. He took it and carried on walk forward. The Lavian Express there with the right hand followed it up. Massive cross. Credit to Fleming Ass for having such, such stamina. He's still going strong, still looks fresh. He's still definitely in the fight trying to finish. Good low kick by Lomas. Both fighters still well in this fight. It. Take it down. Yeah, I think it was the momentum as Fleming asked as he went for that hook that the both connected and obviously he went backwards with it.
Fleminas in half guard, working again to pick away. He does little sharp shots. He's got the overhook on Loma, so he can't turn into him. Latvian crowd here in the Doncaster Dome, cheering their man on. I'm sure there's numerous Latvian fans at home watching via the pay-per-view. Lomas trying to turn into his opponent. Puts him back into guard. Yeah, Lomas really locking Fleminas down. Fleminas can't get any shots off from this angle. Keeps chipping him away with the little hooks to the side of the head and the elbows where he can. Nice body shots from Fleminas. Yeah, you can hear the thuds going through the bottom of the ring. On a hammer fist. And again. Sean Lomas with the open guard. I think he's hoping that he's going to try and move so he can start with... Uh, so we can start with the transition. More hammer fists by Fleminas. This fight sponsored by JR UK. I think because Fleminas doesn't really show any reaction when he's getting hit, it's hard to know how effective the shots are that are actually hitting him. He, uh, Stone face throughout all. So well inside the third and final round. Yeah, more of them shots with the heel. Into the kidneys. Nasty shot. Fleminas keeps peppering away with those hammer fists. Oh yeah, for elbows. Throughout all these three rounds, Fleminas has just been raining shots where he can. He's going to get the win on points. He's quite used to finishing the fight, though. I say oh. it's a great test there, were Thudding shots, thudding hammer shots through Lomas's head. Lomas is taking all these. His head is bouncing off the canvas, and he's still taking all these shots. Yeah, he just closes his eyes and tense. Elbows coming down. You see Fleming and saying, come on, try to win. And again. Neil Hall, the referee. <laughs> Watching for those moves, making sure there's no illegal moves going on. He says, he says he's looking at his corner and saying, I know, let me know how to win it. I think he's feeling quite frustrated that he just keeps hitting him and nothing's happening. That's it, he's taking on the machine in there. Fleminas has not seen an opponent like this that can take anything you put at him. Yeah. Again, big hammer fist. Lomas didn't like those. Yeah. Big guillotine attempt. Locking it on tight, Lomas rolling out. Is he going to increase it? That's it, he's rolled. It's in tight. It looks tight, but... This is going to be a miraculous finish. Ten seconds left. Can I finish? What a way to finish. He's bridging. Still breathing away. He's wow! I see he lasted all three rounds. And that, my friend, is why Lomas is called the legend. That's it, Lomas on his feet, walking around. Wow. See, a well controlled by Madis Fleminas. And uh, no doubt he did win the fight, you know. Yeah. Unofficial opinion. Yeah, definitely. The work with it from Fleming has won him that. Effective striking. So while we wait for the judges and the medics just to check the fighters over, myself and Wayne McKenna would like to fight. Thank all you guys there around the world that paid for pay-per-view to watch these fights. It means a lot to the guys that are here as well. Obviously, a percentage of all the pay-per-view goes to those guys. Um, and, well, let's face it, that's why we're here. The hard four rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. And your winner, by unanimous decision, Maras, the Latvian Express, Lovinas. And please put your hands together.
there for a man that truly is a legend. Sean, the legend, the 